Hi, it's Dave Robinson with PlantCoverCrops.com in uh, Southern Lake County, Indiana, up not terribly far south from Chicago. We're in a large field of corn that uh, had cover crops flown onto it. This uh, had a mixture of crimson clover, uh, rye grass, and also uh, radishes. And this field will be going back corn after corn this next year. It'll be no-tilled back in. The one thing that we've observed in this field is a very good stand of the crimson clover. Uh, we've seen certainly this year and especially this week uh, where we've been out where we've got a very good stand of crimson clover when it was flown into the corn. Much more aggressive growth than where we had it flown into the uh, soybeans. Looks very good. The radishes look good. The ryegrass is, is uh, looking very solid, looking very nice growth on it seeing that very nice growth on it already and uh, this was flown in uh, probably the third week I believe it was the third week of September uh, it's the second week of November or actually the third week of November the week before Thanksgiving this year our radishes aren't uh, really you know they're not state fair radishes but I tell you they they still have uh, roots in that 12 plus inch deep range uh, the radish tubers are about the size of pencils or maybe a little bit bigger than that and uh, I've just been very pleased with how uh, the cover crop looks again this year. This was aerial applied uh, and uh, it just really has turned out very well again. So Dave Robinson, PlantCoverCrops.com looking at a mix that's called NutriBuilder here in northern Indiana.